swapping people with Stante. Just coming out from the coffee shop. Two double espressos. Only, only, uh, only Dante has this caffeine tolerance. No, I'm sure people drink a lot more coffee. I, I genuinely just like to dose myself in the morning where I just drink two double espressos. Boom, I'm done. I don't drink anything else after that. And yeah, it feels like it works for me personally. I feel like I have sustained energy throughout my class up until around 1 p.m. from around 9.30. Yeah, it's nice actually to uh, have your coffee intake right away in the morning. I feel like it, uh, it works for me. You know, some people stop and then they have another coffee in between the break in class, but yeah, I'm not really a fan. I kind of realized that, uh, yeah, just having two coffees in the morning and then just moving on works for me it's mostly just a stimulant to get your mind going um, real energy comes through physical movement hydration with water and sleep um, and so yeah I just think uh, <laughs> pigeons are majestic when I look at the pigeons like they have such character like these these pigeons they're they're intriguing to me to say the least. Um, I think that a, a Philadelphia pigeon project would be a, an interesting thing to, uh, to work on. Could you imagine all the pigeons of Philadelphia cultivating them and creating a farm and making it so that food is a human right and accessible for everybody? Why is it seen as crazy to want to change the world nowadays? In praise of Elon Musk for innovating and doing different things, you know? We need more Elons. He's the uh, modern day Benjamin Franklin. When I walk around Philadelphia, you know, I'm in Rome now, but when I walk around my hometown, I can't help but to think of the founding fathers you know, Ben Franklin and these guys, one of the greatest inventors of our time. And now I'm over here looking out at the Coliseum, thinking about pigeons. The Philadelphia Pigeon Project, the PPP. Look, it's just a thought. Just have to get everyone on board with eating pigeons and then we can get everyone uh, jacked and with muscles from pigeon. Like everyone's just walking around Philly, just super buff. <laughs> just eating like the most lean meat that we have accessible in the city cultivated in a big farm somewhere up in the uh, north. Be so cool. I mean, really, I think what's interesting about eating meat is it really does increase your testosterone. Um, you know, I've never felt so confident, so strong, etc. And, you know, also sleeping, drinking water, like small things. <laughs> but what it does, having high testosterone, is it makes it makes it so that you're confident, you're, you know, you're, you're strong, you're able to like speak your mind, be yourself, you're not like afraid of critique and, and, and people thinking you're, you're weird or whatever. It's like, who cares? It's like what other people think. Because you have such an abundance of love, courage and confidence that I think when people have low testosterone, like a low testosterone male, I think is the biggest threat to society as a whole. Where what do they do? They're typically the ones that go and shoot the schools. Right? They're typically the ones that are like resentful and sitting in a basement in the, in the, in the dark, you know, just w wishing for the worst to happen to the world, you know, 
the low testosterone male will do anything to gain some sort of power over the individual. It's kind of a scary thought. So I feel as though, you know, maybe there's a misconception around testosterone. It's like, oh, toxic masculinity, blah, blah, blah. No, no. Like every, every male should have like high testosterone and that would solve a lot of issues actually. I, I believe, at least. Uh, it's just a thought. Um, hey, look, I think the, the butcher's open. Let me go get some meat here. I should try this one out. I uh, haven't uh, actually purchased meat here because it's been closed in August. Um, you know, meat is medicine. I, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just blessed with good health recently, but I haven't felt ill or sick this entire year of just eating one meal a day, only eating meat and kimchi. So, hey, look, maybe there's something to be said about eating beef and your health. It works for me. Um, never take any pills, no Advil, no cough medicines, never get you know sick. If anything, the only time I get sick is if I like go to a hotel and use the air conditioner too much or it's like a foreign place for the first time to get adapted to the air or something. Other than that, yeah, not really, not really much. Here we go, let's check out the butcher. Buongiorno. Uh, questo, un kilo. Sì. Grazie mille. Eh, un mezzo chilo, non lo so, che preferisci? Bistecca, sì, solo bistecca di mucca. Buona? Yeah, sì, un mezzo chilo. Grazie. Sì, 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 va bene. Mi piace la bistecca in Italia, molto buona. Sì. In America, Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Lo uomo. Fa fare falso bistecca. Falso bistecca. No lo so. Con velina. <laughs> Ma in Italia naturale. <laughs> oh, molto buona. Sì. Uh, un un met, met, mezzo, mezzo chilo, sì, sì. Ogni giorno a uh, digiunare, dopo mangiare carne. <laughs> oh, du due mezzo chilo. Sì. Sì, sì, sì. Thank you. 
Uh, Apostle uh, Pagata Concarta. Buonanotte. Per sei due euro? Sì? Ok, ok. Va bene. Forse domani. <laughs> Ciao. Yeah, two euros for the six eggs. Maybe I'll get those tomorrow. I haven't had eggs since being here. I haven't had eggs in a long time. But, yeah, I got one kilo and a half. Yeah, I got two different types. Like, one was like a cheaper cut, and then the other was um, maybe a little bit better. It had more fat. It looked a little bit tastier, to be frank. And, uh, I don't know, maybe it was the rib. Like, I didn't ask because I don't know, like, the specific words for, like, rib and stuff in Italian. I didn't really feel like, uh, asking anyways. So I just kind of went with whatever I saw. But, yeah, look. Just got my beef. Now it's time to, uh, go put it in the fridge and then I'll hit the street. Walk around for a little bit. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, just consider pigeon is meat. Chicken isn't meat. Pigeon is meat. 